All public healthcare institutions are set to be part of a supercomputing system that uses artificial intelligence to predict health outcomes. The system is set to be rolled out by the middle of next year and is part of, a new, of new technologies that are aimed at improving patient care. Nadir Mokhtar tells us more. These surgeons look like they're waving fingers in the air. But what they're actually doing is interacting with a live holographic model of a patient's brain. They're testing what's called holomedicine technology, verifying the accuracy of the model while operating on the brain. The National University Health System is building a 5G network with Singtel in NUH, so that such technologies can run seamlessly within the hospital's premises. So with 5G, I think uh, we can now um enhance the patient experience through smoother uh, uh, connections, for example, remote uh, consultations, uh, and also expose the possibilities of new services, right, such as holomedicine, as, uh, as well as cloud robotics. Separately, Singapore is building a dedicated supercomputer to help researchers develop new healthcare solutions that make use of artificial intelligence. It can be used to predict when a patient's health may improve or worsen, and also help robots recognize their surroundings and objects within a hospital setting. An agreement was inked between NUHS and Singapore's National Computing Centre, giving all public healthcare institutions in Singapore access to this supercomputer. I think it would uh, improve the way public hospitals uh, deliver care to our patients by uh, enhancing the speed in which we can deploy new services. Patients will be able to access services in uh, public health care such as uh, using chatbots and apps in a much more smoother way. Uh, in terms of developing uh, predictive elements uh, for, uh, to help patient care, I think that's a, a new capability that is transformational. For supercomputing technology to work, a massive amount of data is needed. Is that the adoption of AI must be premised upon safe and ethical use in order for this to work. We must manage a delicate balance between encouraging innovation while maintaining a high level of public trust in the technologies deployed. This is especially so for healthcare, where misapplication can cause great harm to patients and destroy trust. NUHS says the supercomputer will be based on its premises and safeguards are being put in place to ensure the privacy of its data.